Hello, Michael here, and in this video we're going to talk about the WordPress dashboard, just kind of give you an overview of what's there and what you can do from there. So the first thing I'm going to do is going to go ahead and log in to my WordPress account. And what we're going to get at here is the dashboard. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is kind of cover what is available here, what changes you can make. Okay, right off the top in the upper left-hand corner here, we're going to see the name of the <clears throat> website that we are currently logged in. This should be the name of your library. In this case, I've logged into the blog for the project itself, so I'm in Nebraska Libraries on the web. Over here in the upper right um, is my logout and uh, the fact that it is me logged in, and this is how you know that you are you when you're logged in. Um, this is also a way, if you click on your name, that will get to your profile, which we have covered in another video. Uh, and then over here we have a button where you can do a couple of things. By default, this says New Post, because it assumes once you've logged in, chances are what you want to do is write a new post. However, you can drop this list down, and you can go and see your drafts. You can create a new page. You can upload some content to the media library, or you can go ahead and start dealing with your comments. Clicking on this, uh, clicking off of this will make that disappear. Now what I do want to point out is this new post button by default will change depending on where you are in the system. So if you're in the pages area, this will change to new page. However, you can always drop this list down and get to all of the, the other options that are available under that button. Then what we have down the left hand side is your menu for all of the things that you can do. Now, I want to point out to you here something very important. I have some additional items on my menu because I'm the administrator for the whole program than you do. So if you see something here on my screen that you don't have access to, that's perfectly all right. For example, you don't have the super admin choices down here. You also don't have the security choices down here at the bottom. These are available to me because I am the administrator for the whole project. Um, as we go down this menu, we will have videos available for each one of these items um, eventually for everything. But um, one of the things I want to point out here is you have dashboard, posts, media, links, pages, and comments. And you have appearance, plugins, that's one you probably won't have, users, tools, and settings. You'll also have calendar down here at the bottom. And as you can see with dashboard right now, because I'm on the dashboard, notice there are some other choices underneath, and there's this arrow here. What this arrow is going to do is allow me to open and close each in each particular area. Okay? Um, for example, if I go to posts, you notice as I hover over that, this arrow shows up, and I can open and close that by clicking on that arrow. Okay? Generally what happens is if you click on posts, you get to the posts area, then dashboard will close, and the posts area will open up. If you go into links, the links area will open up, posts will be closed, dashboard will be closed. But if you want to see what's under there, you can always hover over any one of these that has an arrow, click on it, open it up, see what's there, say that's not what I want, go ahead and close that again. Then over here in the main area of the page, we have some things that are extremely important and some things not so much. Um, it says here we're in the dashboard. This yellow box right here, which in this example says users and your profile, what this is going to do is this is going to provide you the title and brief description of the latest blog post I have written for the project. Okay. So as I make this video, the most recent blog post is on the video regarding users and your profile. This is set up so that it kind of gives you a little reminder that there is the blog for the project, that you're, the project itself that you're supposed to be keeping up with, and it will just let you know what the latest post is. And this doesn't mean if you, say, haven't logged in in a week, there might be two or three posts that you haven't read yet. So again, I want to remind you weekly, go ahead and make sure you check that blog post. But this is in this yellow box. This is just saying, hey, there's a new blog post on the project blog. You can click on read more, and that will actually take you to the full blog post, or you can dismiss it, which will make this disappear until the next new one comes up. So let's say I've gone ahead. I've read this one. That's great. I'm going to say, okay, dismiss. And what that's going to do is it's going to reload the page. That yellow box is going to disappear until the next time you log in, and I've written a new blog post that I want you to read. Okay. <clears throat> the next thing we have here is the right now area. Your numbers are going to be a little different than mine. That's okay. It's going to tell you how many posts you've written, how many pages you've written, how many categories you've created, how many tags you've used, how many comments are currently on your blog, how many of them you've approved, how many are waiting to uh, be approved or, or spammed by you, and how many are currently marked as spam. These numbers will change. It kind of gives you an overview of what's going on with your website. And as you notice here, each one of these is a hyperlink. So, for example, if I want to see my pages, or excuse me, my posts, 
I can click on the post menu over here or I can click on the word posts here. Underneath that it's going to tell you what theme you're currently using and how many widgets. If you want to change the theme, you have a change theme button here. It should tell you that you're currently using which version of WordPress. Right now that's 3.04. Those numbers should only go up. Don't worry about that. We take care of that here on the back end. Um, Akismet is the plugin we're using to control spam. Kind of tells you what's going on with that, and these numbers will update themselves. And then we have the storage space area here. By default, everybody is allowed 20 megabytes of storage space. You can see right now I'm using about 60%. Um, if you start hitting about 90%, you might want to give me a shout and let me know, because if you hit 100%, you won't be able to create any more new content. Again, as a reminder, there will be training videos for each and every one of these areas. Over on the right-hand side, we have the Quick Press. This allows you to um, quickly create a post. Basically, you want to get in, you want to write something, you want to get it published. You don't need to do anything fancy with it. You don't need to really think about it. You, you've got the title. You've got the content. You can go ahead. You can use that here. You can save a draft. You can clear this out and or you can publish it. Um, but I generally recommend that you actually go to New Posts or into the Posts area to create a new one if you'd like. But this is available to you. So you'll notice this does have a little arrow here. I can go ahead and I can close that and I can open it up. So if you think, hey, you know what, I'm never going to use Quick Press, you can just go ahead and close that. Underneath Quick Press is going to be recent drafts, if you have any at all. Um, I refer you to the post video, but you can quick, uh, quickly you can uh, start a post, save it as a draft, come back to it later. As you can see, I even have uh, uh, drafts going back to May 14th. Basically, I have an idea. I eventually will be writing these posts completely, but I want to kind of get that into the draft so I have a place to start when I finally get back around to it. There are those. And it will only show the most recent three or four. If you have more than that, you can click on View All to see all of your drafts. Okay, I'm going to scroll down a little bit, back over onto the left-hand side. Uh, recent comments. This is, um, again, recent comments that have come into your uh, website. Um, at this point, they're all approved, as you can see here, because it says unapproved. But if there were any new comments waiting for me to decide whether I wanted to trash them or spam them or approve them, I could do that right from here. Okay? There is also the comments area, but this gives you kind of quick and easy access to that. You also notice there's a configure, which we'll get to in the comments video. And again, you can kind of open and close this. Over on the right, back over to the right hand side, we have an area on WordPress blog. This is information from the WordPress organization, the folks that actually create this software. Probably not all too necessary to most of you, but if those of you are interested in kind of where WordPress is going and the development of it, you can read that. Again, you can kind of close that up. And underneath that is WordPress news, also kind of general information about the WordPress organization um, and things like that. Again, if you're not interested, you know, go ahead and close that up. I'm going to go ahead and open these back up for now because actually I do read those. Scrolling down a little further, we have a few other things down in the bottom left here. Um, you probably have the incoming links, and what's going on here is if anybody else on the web uh, links back to your website, uh, generally what's going to happen is gonna, Google is going to notify you of that through WordPress, and you can see those right here. And as you can see right now, there aren't any, so none of them are showing up. Then you may or may not have this plugins area. Chances are you don't. Uh, this is just news about some new plugins, and this is something I need to keep an eye on. Uh, in case I see something that I think might uh, work well for the project as a whole. Okay. Then way down at the bottom here, you have uh, links to WordPress itself, uh, to the documentation for WordPress, and a place to give feedback to the WordPress organization. So that's kind of a general overview. Now, I've, I've got one or two other things to show you here. I mean, I've already shown you the fact that you can open and close some of these areas but you know what, maybe this WordPress blog thing, you know, you can close it up, you can close up other WordPress news, but maybe you just want to get rid of those completely. Okay? Well, what you can do here is one little area I skipped is called screen options. I'm going to go ahead and click on that up here in the upper right hand corner. And as you can see, what I can do now is I can permanently turn on and off some of these things. So for example, I'm really not interested in other WordPress news. I'm really not interested in the WordPress blog. And you know what, I'm really not interested in that quick press. Okay, so we can do that, uh, close that up there. And then if I save that, you'll see those things have actually completely disappeared from the screen. Okay. Then if you really want to get interesting, watch this. I can drag and drop this over here. Okay. So you can actually completely rearrange and customize this screen. The one other thing you can do here is you can also say, well, instead of two columns, I want it in three columns. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to drag this over here. 
Uh, and you know what? I'll, oh, I'll drag uh, incoming links over here. At least I will try to. Okay, why'd they go down there? Okay, well, over here. There we go. Uh, and incoming links over here. Oops. At least I thought I could put it over there. Maybe not. But close this back up. So just quick to show you that really you can completely customize this to your heart's content, kind of work it into the way your workflow wants to work, um, and uh, get this information the way you want. So that's a quick overview of the dashboard and the things you can do here. And thanks for watching. And as always, uh, if you got any questions, go ahead and leave a comment with the blog post. Thanks. Bye.